Here is the liver. This horizontal section shown on the left here is actually viewed from the bottom up. So that's why the liver is on this side. On you, that's like over here, and we're looking from the bottom. Um, you can really see how large that liver is. Um, this says anatomy here, but I'm also gonna do, of course, and some function, do that first. And then we'll look at this picture and another view that shows the circulation to and from the liver. So the liver, you already know, it's going to produce bile. That's gonna be what we focus on here. Um, those hepatocytes in the liver make bile. It's also going to store glycogen. So glycogen is a polysaccharide of glucose that's gonna be broken down when needed um, with stimulation from the pancreas endocrine cells, right? Um, glucagon will break down glycogen. It's also gonna store other nutrients and stuff, I mean, other stuff, good stuff. Nutrients. Um, also important for like detox, um, dealing with drugs, alcohol. So we'll briefly touch on that. The main thing again we'll focus on is the hepatocytes producing bile. We'll, we'll focus actually not on how they produce it, but what that bile does. Okay, this view here is the liver, really big thing. Um, the liver itself, I'll show you a picture of this in a bit, has these things called portal triads. Um, actually, we'll, why don't we wait and use that word when we get there. This here though, there, there's the reason triad came up, there are three key things here that, that you'll look at. Um, artery, it's just the artery, right? Oxygenated blood coming from the aorta of the heart, originally. Portal vein, that's actually an incoming vein. A portal vein is different than a vein. It's this portal system, kind of like your hypothalamic portal system, local, um, deliberately shutted um, from the digestive system to the liver. We'll look at this again in the next slide. Different from the portal vein is the hepatic vein. This is what's gonna to go to the heart. This is pretty much fully deoxygenated. Um, this incoming vein here is only partially deoxygenated. The last piece of these, this triad here is the hepatic duct, right? That is going to um, carry bile to the small intestine and or gallbladder. So let's look at this piece, um, this hepatics, this circulation with a better picture. Here it is. Okay, could you label things on this picture? Start labeling, see if you can do it. Right, um, what else do we, would you know right away? We've got an artery going to the liver. That's gonna be your hepatic artery, remember hepatic refers to the liver. That guy, inferior vena cava, coming from the lower half of the body, is gonna be deoxygenated blood. So then what does this, that mean this thing is here? This has gotta be our hepatic, what? Vein, right? These are the capillaries. that um, allow for exchange at the liver. Come back to that in a moment. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are gonna be two things that are exchanged. I have here labeled digestive tract arteries. So you probably could guess this is gonna be our capillaries of the digestive tract. What is exchanged in the capillaries of the digestive tract? Oxygen, carbon dioxide, so here we're gonna have O2, CO2, right? But what else? We're gonna have absorption of nutrients. So nutrients are going to be absorbed 
from the digestive tract. Nutrients are now in this thing right here. What is this? Our hepatic portal vein. Here it's blue, but this is actually partially deoxygenated So actually we're gonna provide some oxygen to the liver through this system as well. But I don't care if you know that because you've also got your hepatic artery, um, right? The liver needs oxygen. So this delivery of these absorbed materials directly to the liver highlights the importance of this organ as a biological filter, right? We've got nutrients and right toxins, drugs, any drug you, you take. Um, so the hepatocytes are going to contain enzymes that metabolize drugs, help clear toxins from the body before what? They go to, into systemic circulation. Because as soon as you go out into here, lungs, into the aorta, you can't control where this is going. You want to deal with those toxins as soon as they come into the body, not just like anytime, as much as possible. Um, and this is actually a reason why with drug doses, if you take an oral form, you have to take a higher dose than if you do a intravenous, right? Because intravenous is going directly into your bloodstream, not directly to the liver first. Pretty cool. Okay, we're going to zoom in to a little section of the liver. You're going to see this more closely in lab. We're not gonna do a ton of detail on this, even in lab. Okay, so zooming into a section of the liver, you've got these um, hexagonal <laughs> structures here. If you zoom into one of them, each of them has this central piece. And then is surrounded by some key structures. And these surrounding structures on the outside here, this is actually um, these triads. So a triad is like three, right? That's gonna be, I mean, you can't see them on this picture, but they're like out here somewhere. Um, central vein, we'll come back to. So these triads, here's one of them labeled, is made up of the same thing in that previous triad I showed you. This is the level a lot more zoomed in. Those triads branch um, to form triads that connect to each of these hexagons. So a lot of these portal triads. Each one's made up of the bile duct, the portal vein branch, and the hepatic artery branch, so that every section of this liver contain, receives oxygen, um, receives nutrients and toxins that need to be uptaken or and dealt with, and um, produces, is able to put bile into the bile duct system. So these hepatocytes all along here are producing bile. That's what that green stuff is in there. That's all going to be yeah, sorry. That's all going to be um, shunted to this bile duct and then meet up, sorry, here's the kind of guy, meet up to form this, this main bile duct. We'll see this again in a moment, actually. Point here is that this triad um, has all three things the hepatocytes need to have near them, a place to put the bile, a place to receive oxygen, a place to receive the, in that portal system, the nutrients, toxins, everything that's coming from the digestive tract. In the center of each of these hexagons is the central vein where all of the deoxygenated blood is going to end up from this whole system and go to the hepatic vein, then to the inferior vena cava. 
we, I'm not going to test you on any of this anatomy. Um, I want you to, in lab, you will see these, these triads um, and basically note the, the function of the liver and hepatocytes overall. <laughs>